YouTubers. Thank you for clicking or tapping on this video. You're watching New Man Explore, and this is Collaboration Time. Yes, that is correct. You heard me right. Collaboration Time. A couple weeks ago, I was contacted by Jeremy from a channel called Simple Little Life. He had a really cool little Skinner knife he wanted me to make a sheath for. A few emails back and forth. He sent me the knife. And this video is about the making of the sheath for that knife. Keep on watching. And here is the knife. It's a nice little skitter knife made out of O1 tool steel with a hammered look. A very, very nice knife. Here's the, the parts of the sheath. Of course, we have the welt that will be here. This will be the uh, this is the front front of the sheath here, and the back the back piece of the sheath. Here's the belt loop that will go to that there, and then this will be just a retaining strap that will come over in like fashion, like this. Well, I have the sheath all dyed up here, and uh, now I'm going to glue the welt on. I'm going to be using uh, this uh, this little brass piece. It's called a Sam Brown stud. I'm going to be using this for the clasp uh, for the little strap. Okay, you can see how this uh, goes here, and uh, it's important to get that in, that screwed in first here, the stud on the outside there, and uh, before this is stitched, so this will just come across like this, and uh, anyway, I hope it's going to work, uh, I think it's going to work pretty well. Okay, I just put this tiny piece of uh, cloth over here, glued it down, uh, just to protect uh, the knife as the, as the knife slides into the sheath there, this will protect protect the blade and just keep it uh, keep the little brass piece from scratching it. I just glued the belt loop here. I'll stitch that in just a little bit and I put the hole in here for the Sam Brown stud clasp and now we're just gonna put these together here and I uh, already had the, the uh, contact cement already on there so now just to line them up Here's the initial uh, dry fit here, and uh, uh, it's really solid in there, and uh, really happy, really happy with uh, with that. The knife's in there really, really well. I think the Sam Brown stud looks good, and it's very, very secure. So now I'll just begin stitching. All right. Well, here is this little sheath here pretty much all done got all the, the stitching done here and uh, I uh, already sanded the edges with the belt sander and I beveled the beveled the edges and so basically the second to last step here now is I'm going to use some Phoebe's black leather dye and dye the edge here so getting really close And now the finished sheath, right here, here it is. Uh, I think it turned out really well. Quite pleased with uh, the look of it. And uh, it's just, uh, it's about six ounce leather. So it's uh, not a very heavy, hefty sheath, but um, it, it's, it's solid. And I think uh, you know, did my best obviously to construct it very well. A little bit of a different spot maybe to put the Sam Brown stud, but uh, I felt it was necessary to put that there um, in order uh, just to secure just this uh, ex this uh, little piece of the knife there um, and uh, just to keep keep the knife solid and secure into the sheath 
Um, speaking of that, let's see what it looks like inside this sheath here. Okay, well, before the strap is attached, it's, it's still very secure and uh, solid in there. But, uh, of course, the strap's there just to uh, make sure it, there is no movement in the, the sheath at all. And uh, all in all, I'm really pleased with it. I think it turned out well. Okay, well, I sure hope you enjoyed that. I know I enjoyed uh, making the sheath for this knife. And uh, it was a lot of fun. I think it turned out really well. Um, I already emailed a few pictures to Jeremy. He is excited about it. And I hope it gives you many years of use. I really enjoyed the collaboration here. And I hope you all did as well. Please keep watching. Keep watching Jeremy's channel, Simple Little Life. And also keep watching New Man Explore as we explore knife making, uh, leather crafting, as well as uh, the great Canadian outdoors. We'll see you next time.